It'd be cool. All right. So, who character? <laughs> that's cool. There's like some subtle differences the leg taper and like a haircut, and that's basically it. <laughs> uh, we'll we'll stick to mail for this run. All right, let's do a new game. Let's play some Void Train. Yeah, Oth and Gilder were playing this for a while. Sometimes the spirit of adventure beckons so much, it's pointless to resist it. Some people find enough courage to get on a train and head off into... outer space? <laughs> hmm. No? Also no? Wrong again. These are all wrong stories. Ah, there it is. The forest. This train was passing through impenetrable, dense forests. However, that was not a nameless journey, but a long way up here. This voice actor right is into the heart of the it. endless snowy nowhere. A perfect place for those who prefer tranquility, silence. And yeah, it might be better now. Also, welcome on. The window. Bellafon, kindest. Meet the man who made off into this palace of silence. The engineer. He'll be here on watch duty for many long and cold months. Until the next lucky guy strides in to replace him. If one comes through at all, of course. But there's no need to feel I sorry wish I for had him. Warmth like Although this guy's the voice. terrain is wild, there's plenty to see and do around here. Especially if you're curious enough. Fortunately for my story, engineers are almost always inquisitive and attentive. These people notice things that elude the average person. <laughs> what what is that? have been fine in this adventure if the blizzard had not started at the wrong time. The chilly wind blew the engineer off the trail, which he immediately lost sight of. His fingers instantly turned into ice like everything else around him. He died. The last hope of salvation. Very dead. Of the terrain treacherously slipped out of his hands. Luckily, the video's timing didn't allow the engineer to suffer for long. <laughs> All of a sudden, in the middle of snow nowhere, it appeared. A door to... Where to, by the way? The building didn't seem to be on the engineer's maps. Anybody this is home? delightful. This is how it all usually starts. I I do, though, wish that the game had just leaned aggressively into this art style and, like, let it get to the models. Like, I'm already really charmed by this, like, Yushanka with, like, In little glowy eyes shot, inside of it nothing. character. No people. No warmth. Only darkness. Like, it's like Black Mage, but cold. <laughs> like, just give me that. Give me that model. Let the male and female difference be actual nothing. It would be awesome. Okay. Oh, hey! This game's not, like, super... Well, it's it's not great, uh, to be sure. Hey, hang on. I'm going to check my settings really quick. Did, like, mouse acceleration get turned back on or something? Setting. Enhanced pointer precision. That is that what that is? Oh, I think it is. I think that is what that is. Try that. See if that helps with this, like, mouse craziness. No. No, it super doesn't. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, this has been bothering me for a little bit here. It did, though, make my mouse very slow on my desktop. If I do anything else, it is completely untenable. Okay, all right. We're just gonna we're just gonna live with it the way that it is. All right, cool. All right. <laughs> okay, back to video games. That's enough mucking around in the mouse settings, except for this one. Keyboard. How sensitivity. I don't know what it is about my mouse, but like, then. There we go. Sorry. I'm, I have, like, a very large mouse pad, just so that everybody knows. I 
move my mouse very far to make like minor motions in a lot of games. Because like, I don't usually find a lot of value in being able to go, <laughs> like I, I'm usually looking at a table and at a mug and at a thing <laughs> and being able to move my mouse more than like a couple of millimeters to do it. It's a big deal. Anyway, sorry, I'm rambling now. The door remains impregnable. There is too much snow outside. It's snowy outside. Okay. Looking for lights. For the light. The light. Oh, it's over here. It's the it's the one lit thing in the room, which happens to be a flame. Kind of a problem. If I were you, I'd look for a key, or something that looks like a key. Maybe just something heavy. <laughs> Thanks, narrator. Oh, oh, it's marked. Oh, because it's hiding inside of a box. Was this prologue in here before? Well, I don't think that's going to help. It could. Hmm, a heavy blunt object. Gotta grab it. <laughs> oh, we have loops just for it. Aw, that's cool. This is way better than a pit boy. I'm afraid there's nothing left to fix with a hammer. Any other ideas? Oh, ye of little faith. I guess that does look kind of kind of bad. Oh, I, I put a Band-Aid on it. It's better now. <laughs> and so, my glorious hero, having passed all the hardships of his watch, finally obtains a light in order to... Hmm. To notice something strange on the table? Oh, that's wild. Uh, this is, this is cool looking. Also, I love this narrator's voice. I could just listen to him read menus, you know? He'd just be like, welcome to the house of Pad Thai. We've got Crab Rangoons. That's not how this kind of switch works. <laughs> It's not even for a minute how this guy kind of switch works. No, we can still make this work, my guy. No, please, buddy. No, you can still put the switch back. This is not at all how that kind of switch works. And then we die. You see, when you go messing around with somebody else's Stargate, hey, you're liable you're to end right. up in deeper than you think you could oh, ever you're be. Finally awake. Hmm. A typical day on watch, huh? <laughs> the voices in my head. Um. Uh. 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 Cool dog. Oh no, there's, now there's a pack of them. They're going to suck out my organs. Okay, this is beautiful. Like, even without the musical swell and, like, being forced to watch these dogs well, dance around. This might come in handy. This is gorgeous. <laughs> the fucking around and finding out Graf is in a solid seven. I mean, my... Look, my organs are so good, they sell it as a spice. Organo, you know? Oh, just go in directions. Okay, there's a rope. Oh, that. That's. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
I, I'm not holding F. <laughs> I am not holding F. Okay, thank you. I want the shiny rock or whatever. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough stringy stuff. No. No to Organo. Open the diary. Oh, of fine. Such an inventive mind wouldn't have any trouble figuring out the mechanism of a simple trolley. Okay. What's the transmission handle? Switch brake. Wait. Hey. Well, pretty much. Try pulling the other lever. Hey, I'm trying to do that. <laughs> you can't. You can't All sass right me. Now. Just slowly. Yeehaw, cowboys. We're in space. weird that we can like swim in there. Also, uh, I knew, I knew that that lever was the throttle because it's obvious, uh, and it just wouldn't let me interact with it. That's a useful book you've picked up. Is the author some kind of scientist or inventor? I hope he's not too upset that he stole his train. That was awkward. I am very fast now. Oh no. Then I screwed it all up the minute I started bragging. Oops. We're going. I was supposed to collect things. Wood or something. Yes, this is that. This is Void Train. <laughs> okay, alright, okay. <laughs> One of these. Ah. <laughs> oh, I can still swim faster than this train goes. I mean, I don't want to swim everywhere that I go, but like, you know. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It seems to be picking up speed somehow. Did I just hit myself <laughs> on a piece of debris? I think I did. Build a research table. Okay, sure. Oh, this is a big table. There we go. That's what I want. Give me the rotation. Was that was that more floor? Wooden floor. Buildings do not work without wooden floor. Definitely want to figure out how to make a box. Oh, I need... I have to make the smelter first. To figure out how to make a box. Hey, you. Get back, you. <laughs> oh, I just skinned a sky dog. Gross. Chemical. Just chemical. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that was manual turbo honking. <laughs> it was all the storage containers that frustrating. 
I do not understand how these games, uh, like, why they are so restrictive about their inventories. I don't get it. Like, I don't, I don't know who they are just like, you know what the motivating force of your progress should be? Make it a box. It should be really hard to just make a box, you know, keep things. That's like most of the game, right? That's the thing that we need to complicate and make real difficult. Just, just you know, make it a box. Gamers love making boxes. Like, no, I want to make a death laser. I do not want to have to think about where I store enough uranium to power a death laser. Is that the part of every comic book that, like, Lex Luthor fans are clamoring for? Finding about the logistics of how he made a super closet? No, nobody gives a shit. It's tedious. Stop it. <laughs> we'll see what's up, though. We'll figure it out. Oh, this music's picking up. Music's picking up. Gonna, gonna get myself another 5x push here. Oh, research the smelter. Right, right. Oh, it's just like a timer that I stare at. Okay. Okay, well now I need to build a smelter. What does it take to build a smelter? Oh, it just takes a couple of scrape. <laughs> Whipply brimly. <laughs> I stacked in stacks of five maximum. All right, so if I open this up and I see that the storage chest only has three in it, we might just stop. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> Oh. Um. Uh. I guess I could, like, stop, huh? Oh, this is terrifying. What's that? Are those cobwebs? Okay. Hey, those are the same runes that Ultima used back in the day. I had a manual to translate these. FTF. Like R S. Oh, did I fall off? Oh, I fell. I didn't expect to be greeted with balloons and fanfare, but where is everybody? Sneak in. It's me, uh, Metal Gear. I'm no I solid I tell you snake. what to do about it, but I have no idea. I just have to do a little bit of uh, stealth action. This is a sneaking mission. But how does it taste? I note the presence of gravity. Hmm. I'm sure that they haven't left the game in like a, a static state. I'm still uh, very excited for Shadows of Doubt. Oh, did you catch anything about Shadows of Doubt last night? Like, that game specifically is doing things in gaming that I've never seen done before. Oh, cool. Check it out. There's, like, a plate. So the whole operation is run by Tony Lazuto. Also, I love that crouching, uh, I'm still fast. I'm, I'm a speedy little croucher. I got I got some pop in my squat here. Will I pop this squat? Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I see. Okay. Well, never mind then. <laughs> what a cool way to show me that.
<laughs> Merlin, you would be so surprised. You would be just, just smackered. <laughs> like, if I take that thing down for even a second, it becomes unbearable in here. Ah, there we go. I know, I've tried. And it's it's not it's none of the regulars. Like everybody who's been here for a while understands. But like man, man, there's an expert in every video game, no matter its state. Now this hasn't happened Poor recently, thing. and I don't even remember what well, game it was. The goddesses of time and fate can't weave a long life oh. path for everyone. Oh. Well, at least he won't be needing the revolver anymore. <laughs> Two things. Uh, it has proper alpha. That's that's why I use WebM. WebMs have an alpha channel that you can activate. That's uh, that's the thing I was talking to you about last night, and why I was like, oh, this I need to get this these rendering settings correct. Yeah, yeah, chocolate, Dave. On honestly, like I have had, so I was doing my uh, scratch that itch.io like forever ago, right? Uh, and I had a developer show up. Who do you think this skeleton was? And I was like, these so tutorials are kind of table. obtuse, and they need reworks. And he was like getting kind of salty desire. at me because I was doing well, stuff wrong. And I was just like, my be. my brother in Christ, <laughs> like you are the, the one who's supposed to instruct right me with your open. game. Like that was a great idea. <laughs> please get out of my okay, chat and into thing, Unity okay? and fix this shit. <laughs> I got an idea. We're gonna need those parts soon. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for streamer to find massive fucking spoiler. I I always love it when the model has proper iron sights. I always love that. That's super nice. Good. Do you know about the secret boss fight with the Mega Devil? Also, I feel like I could just like get sufficiently far away from any object and then swim over it. Unless the canon explanation is that gravity extends above stuff very far. The console on the platform looks suspiciously to the device in the blueprints. It was mentioned there in the train upgrade paragraph. In the train upgrade paragraph. Oh, little Billy, check it out. You've got a gun. Okay. All right, well, we have those. Let's upgrade the wagon, then, I guess. An engineer. Oh. Truly an engineer. These buttons seem to be deactivating after I mouse over them. Oh my god. <laughs> Not enough resources. Not enough resources. We need like an iron bar or something. Construction. All right. Well, we seem to have more space, so we'll just we'll turn it into floor later. Ah! <laughs> I don't know if I'm more excited about some some. Uh, building space or a gun? Honestly, vertically, forever, horizontally, never sounds like a really good, like, hip-hop album. What's this? Oh, it's it's a log. I thought it was a bottle because it was shiny. Oops. That thing's terrifying. Gives me the 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 the, the gibblies. The leech is not clever or intelligent. You can hardly call it dangerous either.
Okay. I like that the the tips are not ignorable, but I'm also very irritated at how much space it takes up. I'm, I'm trying to make up my mind about it. Like, hold F for several seconds to make this giant chunk of text go away. Thank you very much. <laughs> I... Nope. Nope. Ah! Rope. I've been lassoed. Vertical Horizon? Ooh, that sounds cool. Is Vertical Horizon about space travel? Organics. I just found some flesh. Do I have inventory with it? I kind of want to, if I kill it, I want it to be close. Oh, just some fat. Uh... If I got a couple more players, I bet we could derail the train. Get this thing off these tracks easy. Easy peasy. Just got to hold hands. <laughs> this game is beautiful. This is gorgeous. But yeah, honestly, any survival craft em up for me is is in uh, I want to play this with my friends territory. Like, if your survival craft em up doesn't have uh, multiplayer in it, I'm just not interested. I only have so many hours in a day, and I'm already squandering very many of them when I have to, like, pay bills. Which, by the way, hey, if y'all are new and you're just checking out games and demos for Next Fest, like, I also have a Patreon. If this kind of stream is useful to you, like, consider putting a dollar into it. It uh, helps me make more content and also eat food and live indoors instead of exclusively out of doors. Which, let me tell you, the world's really interested in me living out of doors. Put a bunch of wood in there. I guess. Clothes. Re recipe, I guess. It does make a copper bar, right? Oh, okay. Oh. Uh... So didn't use all of my fuel here. This thing has a lot of health, and this gun is not uh, not hurting it in meaningful ways. Okay, well, hang on. I did. It was a copper bar, right? Let me make a copper bar. Iron bar. Oh, we smelted the wrong bar, everybody. I'm a I'm a bozo. Okay, so what happens if I put two of these in there? Okay. These menus are cute, I guess. Oh. He hit me! I thought he didn't do damage, but he hit me. What? <laughs> uh? Okay. No automated reason. I'm using Patreon controls. Yeah, I mean, I'm controlled by Patreon. Uh, very much. Oh, that looks like one of those guys. I wonder if that's intentional. So, I know that that thing is supposed to slow down the cart. But I kind of don't understand why I would want the cart to go fast. Oh, can't just can't just jump up, so I need like a net or a long limb.
Oh, there's another train. Hello, other train. You're very big. Why don't I take you? This music implies that stuff's about to get a little, uh, a little wacky. Blocked by the quest. Can you see it too? Or am I hallucinating already? <laughs> no, narrator. I think you're good. Um, can they see us? Hey! What a, what a spooky train. Draw attention. What does that mean? Hello. I have a rope. Oh. That's a red bar. You guys got a gun. Well, I've got a gun. Like, you know what? If some guy was swimming at me on a big rope with a gun, I'd probably also be like, hey, what the hell? And then he aims it at you. Like, no, I'm, I'm actually, hang on. I'm being very threatening. Are we choosing violence? I just don't know. I don't think we are. We're on the break. Oh, there we go. Whatever. <laughs> no. Uh, okay, I guess not. Uh, all right. Well, I expected that to be a lot more. I feel like this game demo was really trying to hook me on the setting, which it did. It's very cute. Uh, there kind of wasn't a lot of substance, though. Uh, yeah, that was that was really short. I expected this to be long. Uh, it was about, what, 40 minutes there? Like, Jiminy. Okay, well, that was the Void Train demo. Uh, I think they wanted me to open fire on those guys, but they didn't Give me a reason to do that. <laughs> like, I don't know. They looked looked a little shifty, I guess. All right. Well, it's time for a demo 